Okay, what I got here is the gearbox off the M60 mower deck. It's the belly mower deck. So, uh, so when it goes underneath, it's not the one you drag behind. Uh, I had a seal on it. One of these seals was leaking. Some of the oil was coming out. I did catch a hold of it this year. Uh, and then, well, of course, I finally got to tear it apart. I'm getting ready for spring because spring's right around the corner. And we're getting ready for everything. You know, our mowing season's coming and stuff like that. Uh, but what kind of happened is... Uh, the grass end up getting in behind this seal here in the front where the dry shaft connects here because it goes like this and your dry, dry shaft connects into this like this well, actually no, I'm wrong on that dry, sorry about that dry shaft connects into this part right here so that seal was over here on this side okay and of course your dry shaft goes in here like this and it was it got grass built up in behind this seal and it's, it, it allowed it to uh, to leak oil, which it didn't leak that much because I caught it in time. And uh, so I went ahead and, you know, got it all tore apart and everything. But I think what happens is this gearbox and the shaft itself sits really low to the ground. And it's picking up, like, tall grass. You know, if you're going to mow over something tall, normally, I just, you know, what I like doing, I lift the deck up real high. And then I'll do a cut and then I'll lower it down and do a cut. And uh, it still didn't make any difference. You know, it was just, it got tangled. You can see it's still on the shaft here. I didn't clean it off there, but I'm going to get it all cleaned off and then, you know, grease everything up. Uh, but it did get up inside there, opened that seal up. It got uh, it got in behind toward the bearings here. I got most of them cleaned out. I'm going to clean the shafts up on this thing. And then I ordered two, uh, I actually ordered six of these because uh, I'm, I'm, every time I replace them, I'm going to put the two, two new ones in because that's what it takes. It actually takes, let me see, take this one back off. It takes two two seals, and then uh, I guess you want to call these like a dummy dummy blo or blocker or something, you know, because you don't use this side here. But uh, it takes two seals, and I said, well, I'm just going to replace both of them. I'm not going to replace one. One seems, seal seems like it's still good. I'll go ahead and take it out, put it back, and save it. And then if I need it for something, then, you know, I'll, I'll go ahead and use it. But uh, the bad thing about the... This box, this gearbox, is that uh, you literally got to tear this thing apart. There's, there's no way of pulling these seals out. You know, I thought maybe I could have went in there and then took something, pop them out. You know, you can just grab a hold of the side seal, pop them out, clean it up, and then put a new seal back in, and just can't do that because it, it actually sets on the inside of this cask. It sets down into a groove here. Let's turn it around this way, but it sets down inside, and that just kind of allows you from you know, trying to pull this this seal out. We're not a very good design, but uh, you know, if you get your gearbox, you get if you can get it open. I, 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 the hardest trouble I had was getting these Allen head uh, uh, screws out, their bolts out. And this is made cast, so you got to be careful. You know, you don't want to uh, be tightening it something and turn it the wrong way and strip these out because I'm for sure they they'll strip out or tighten them down too tight because uh, you can strip them. But, uh, you know, just inform you, if you're going to end up with this kind of box and you have to take these out, you probably should look for something that, uh, like the Allen uh, head that has a socket, you know, for your ratchet, something pretty good because uh, it was really rough for me to get, get these out. But uh, we got it all apart and everything, and we're going to get finish getting it cleaned up and get it put back together for this spring. Uh, mowing season's coming, and uh, we want to make sure that our gearbox is going to be in good shape, and uh, we can get our grass done this year. So, uh, if you got any questions, just leave them down below in the comment. I will leave, like I said, I'll leave these down there. At the numbers now, the numbers on these I'm going to give you. If you have the same gearbox, is the uh, that's the size. So these are metric, and basically that's what's on these little seals. People, it's not serial number. That's just your size. And I'll leave them down below, and then you can just go in. I went in eBay and bought them, but you can get them probably Amazon or, or it might be some other places around your your place. You know that uh, you might know of that you can get these little seals. Just you know, take the number in. Uh, they are printed on the seal, so it's not hard to look at them to see. But uh, if you can get this apart, you know. Okay, uh, just leave your comments down below, and I'll get back with you as soon as I can. So thanks for watching.